been a while since I've been on this channel. It's kind of crazy. But, uh, what's up, everybody? How is everybody doing on this fine, what day? Wednesday? Wednesday? It's four in the morning. And in case y'all can't see, yeah, I'm at work. Uh, I haven't been on this channel in a while since, uh, I went on that cruise two years ago. Before COVID, I might add, because that was kind of crazy. Y'all yeah, can see the difference, cause uh, I got this shit now. I got, I'm talking, bro. I can't even describe it, cause so, cause of how crazy it is. It's been two years since I've ever uploaded a video on this channel, but uh, we're making a comeback, and, and I'm slipping. Hold on. And how we're gonna start that is just me describing what I do with this job, which is realistically a whole lot of nothing. Because peep game. I ain't got I have a computer, watch TV. I had food, but I ate it already. I have my blanket, I have my robe. This is a tiny space here. This thing get you one. And I have this entire room. This is the entirety of this room by myself. I'm here, I got here at 6 p.m. yesterday. I get off at 6. This is all I've done the whole time. Now, if that's not, if that ain't, if that's not how you want to live your life, well, I don't, well, this isn't how I want to live my life, but until I get to where I want to, this is exactly what I'm going to do. I ain't, did, I, ain't did a whole bunch, I ain't did a whole bunch of nothing all day. Hardest part, staying awake. And even then, I, just, I, had, I drank a monster like three hours ago. I'm juiced. It's coming back up. Excuse me. And two vending machines. My favorite drink is the first one, Big Red. I'm about to buy me another one. But uh, this is this is really all I do. Um, so vlog channel going to be in full effect once I edit these videos, edit the vlogs together. This is the first of many. I need a fucking haircut. But that's why I'm here, so I can pay for one. But uh, I guess I'll see y'all later when I get off. Y'all can see the drive home and I'm making breakfast when I get back. So that'll be fun. Get a security job. You'll get paid to do nothing. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch y'all later. Well, as y'all can tell by me being in my car, your boy is fresh off work. It's like 6.20 something, six, almost 6.30. And if you know the Louisville area um, near Barstown, you know driving at this time, if you're up this early, is fucking insane. So I've had a lot of near misses with buses, cars, trucks, you name it. But, uh, I, I think I missed my turn. No, I didn't. Never mind. I, was th I thought I turned the wrong way, but I did. So, yeah, if you live in this area, you know how crazy it is driving in the morning. If you're up this early. And I'm stuck behind a bus right now, as a matter of fact. Bus. But the bus turned, so it needs to So am I! Kids, don't vlog and drive. I probably won't even put this in the video because I don't even think I'm allowed to do this. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Cause I'm stopping at Thornton's. Getting the lady something to drink. This is what she likes. She normally drinks Diet Coke, but she, she's, she made a special request today. Ginger ale is the request today. So, and the fountain drink specifically, she has, a, she, there's a distinct difference in Diet Coke. The, the bottle, the can, and the fountain drink. There's a distinct difference that she can tell 
but I I never knew that was a thing. But obviously I didn't. I don't drink diet coke like that. We have this we have this debate damn near every day. Every day she asks for a diet coke. I say it's it's sugary ass brown water. Half it's barely sugared brown water. That's basically what it is. You can disagree with me, but I know I'm right. That's just what it is. It's for her and for single moms who have nothing better to do. I'm not calling her a single mom. I'm calling single mom single moms. So before y'all even get it twisted, that's not what I'm saying at all. But I can't call it because I have my own obsession, which is Big Red. Which y'all know in the Louisville area, if y'all drink this, y'all know Big Red is arguably one of the top five drinks ever created. Top five soft drinks ever created. And if you disagree, I'm gonna assume you're not from Louisville and I'm gonna assume you hate your life. And I'm gonna assume, I hope this Thornton's is open. Oh, and y'all know who, who, who my 502 people, y'all know these Thornton's on Barstown really be finicky with how they be open and, or closed. And the pumps barely work. But uh, this shit get crazy. So uh, I'm finna go in here. I'll be back in just a second. Mission success secured the drink well that i didn't get the they didn't have the, the ginger ale so i got the, i got a combination of big red and strawberry lemonade which is which hits i didn't even think it would hit but it hit and shout out to dude i only got my drink he gave me the drink for the free skis so whoever i, I don't know your name bro you ain't no name tag on but whoever you are if you work at this store on the right side of barstown you you're the realest on the team I want to tell you the realest on the team. And of course, y'all already know how to get me the big R. Already got it. But yeah, shout out to dude. He got me, he got me the drink for the free skis. And uh We love a king. We love a black king. But we was working in the morning trying to get the bullshit over with. But no, nah, they was in there. I had me in there dead as fuck. They I guess they did good on the audit. And they was talking about, and I guess dude, dude got on the mic and said fucking something about some uh piece of party on y'all. And I was like, oh. That's crazy. And then nigga, he took it a step further. Took it a step up. Said Benny Hanna. Crazy. Benny Hanna is crazy. But then again, I've never had Benny Hanna, so I can't even really talk shit. But uh this is success. I saved a dollar thirty-seven, because that's usually what it cost me to get uh drink from Thornton's. Saved me a dollar thirty-seven, which is good. That's all I had. But uh <clears throat> excuse me. I couldn't get that out. But uh yeah. Fuck, I dropped my big red. Ah! So uh yeah. We gon we gonna get we gonna get home. There's a person staring at me while I'm vlogging. Fuck off, loser. Yo, beat ass whatever the fuck this car is. I'm sorry, I'm being a bully. But anyway, we gonna get back to the crib. I'm gonna get breakfast cooking for the myth of and I. Y'all are gonna y'all gonna go with me through this. Through most of it at least. Just cause a nigga is vlogging on his phone. A nigga doesn't have that much storage. And I just got a and I just got a new phone. And I got my camera fixed and all that. Thank God. I couldn't do shit with no camera. I just realized how I realized how much stuff you need the phone camera to use. Like, bro, I couldn't even play Pokemon Go. Yes, I still play Pokemon Go. I don't give a fuck. You're just gonna have to be mad about it. But uh yeah. Your boy's gonna get breakfast started. And uh I'm gonna go the fuck to sleep because uh, I'm tired. It doesn't hit me till I lay down in the bed and until I go home and lay in the bed. But the hardest part of my work is security is staying awake. Just fucking staying awake. Some I'm not I'm not gonna say that and incriminate myself on video. Never mind. I caught myself. Thank God. But uh, yeah, I'm almost home. I'm gonna take my hair down. It's hard to drive with it in my face. I take my hair down, roll up my sleeves, take off my shoes, and get cracking on breakfast. So uh, I'll catch up with y'all in like maybe a minute, two minutes tops if I'm not speeding. So uh, in a sec. All right, y'all, I'm back in the house. Uh, it's now time for breakfast. I got every. I think I have almost everything I need out for right now. Uh, what else do I need? What else do I need? I got everything. 
Oh. Got a show pulled up to watch. And y'all gonna see this whole thing. So start. I'm making waffles. Now, I've had this, this obsession that's been created with Hell's Kitchen recently. Hell's Kitchen has to be one of the funniest, some of the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Because it's the way that he be yelling at them. It, and I think I'm a little sadistic because it brings me joy because of that. That was almost really bad. I almost spilled the, the waffle mix everywhere. That was gonna be horrible. <sighs> yeah, okay. As I was saying, it's all over my hand. Hell's Kitchen, funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Because, and people always say, Gordon Ramsay only funny because he ain't talking to me. And respectfully, I have to agree with that because he was talking to me. Gang, I don't know if I could let that slide. I might, me and him might have to really, might have to really run one if we being for real. If we being for realsy reals, me and him really might have to run the fair one. Now, I think I put a little too much water in the mix. So I might put a little more pancake mix in it. But then again, I think I did, I think I did pretty good, honestly. Cause it's supposed to be a little lumpy, but not too lumpy. But then again, I think it's all personal preference, really. So, Resolute make make your pancake or waffle mix as lumpy or not lumpy as you want. I think it depends on how much you mix it. Cause you gotta mix it really well. Hmm. Trying to make sure it's all mixed up. I should, pro I should probably plug in the waffle maker. Give me a second. I can't plug it in. I plugged it in. Never mind. I'm just stupid. As I was saying, in the way that he be worthy, and they be making it seem like some ho he's some holier than thou ass nigga. No, he's yelling at y'all because he don't fuck with y'all for real. They'll be over like, oh, he's only yelling at me because he's pushing me. He wants me to succeed. He don't give a fuck. That man does not care. Gordon Ramsay couldn't give a shit less about any of you people. And that's just that on that, respectfully. And it's something my girl taught me. It's something my lady taught me. She said what she did last time she made pancakes, she mixed in a little bit of milk or waffles. Same difference, it's all the same shit. She mixed in a little bit of milk. I don't know what this is gonna do, but I'm gonna try it. Is this a good idea? Maybe not. Is that a risk I'm willing to take? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, really I heard getting this cracking. I wasn't gonna try to thought, but anyway, Gordon Ramsay, yeah. He don't give a fuck. Y'all know. Gordon Ramsay don't care about none of them niggas that he got on that show. He don't care about the one who win. Hell, I'm surprised he even be remembering half of them by name anyway. But that's just me. I would want to go on Hell's Kitchen, but then again, I can't cook for shit. I can cook the shit I know how to cook, I can cook it. I'm not about to learn all of that, like. But then again, it's really like four main things really it's like what scallops risotto whatever the fuck that is and he be switching shit up too depending on what what he make but uh i think i got this pancake mix pretty good peak game i think i got this pancake mix pretty good or waffle mix i'm making waffles i think that's pretty i think it's pretty good for waffle mix so um i'm about to throw this in the Throw this in the waffle iron. I think it's hot enough. Yes, yeah, it's sizzling. And uh, we're gonna see how good I do. I'm gonna flip it around. Give me one second. All right, y'all. I got the pan for the for the waffle maker. I got my mix. I think I did pretty good on it. 
I think I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna make sure it's all mixed in though. This is one big lump right there. Thought I had it. I guess I didn't. And look, the waffle iron she has, it's a little heart. It's a little heart. So, I'm getting heart shaped waffles. I don't know if I can hear that, but this church bell, it goes off every day and it pisses me off to no end because it's they changed. The, it's stupid. But I don't. I'm gonna stop being a hater. I need to, I need to stop being a hater. I need to stop being a hater. So y'all are gonna see this possible train wreck. But then again, I need to give myself a little more credit because I think it all just depends on how long you keep it in there. So wait. Cause I think I'm making like six waffles because I'm gonna eat three. And she's probably gonna eat three. She's up our sleep right now, which is why I can even do this. Cause I think for her to hear me, probably hear me talking to myself, it's probably would be crazy. I think I should probably get a fork. I'll be forgetting some of those basic shit while I'm cooking. I'm not gonna lie. I have this AirPod in because I had a show. I was gonna pull up a show I could watch while I talk. I didn't have to pay much attention. I was gonna watch Dragon Ball the Abridged. Shout out to y'all. I wish they could make some more, but boo. Anyway, oh, I almost forgot to spray the pan. Not the pan, the waffle iron. Cool. All right. We're gonna see how well this goes. All right, attempt one at waffle. I think that's enough. Let me see. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's the one right there. That's the one. Oh, that's the one. Attempt one. I think this is gonna. I think this is gonna be good. I think I gotta give it like a minute. So um. We're gonna let that do its thing. And as a matter of fact, I'll just show you the finished product of all the waffles I make. So I think they're gonna turn out really well. So I'll be back when the finished product for the waffles. Now, I ain't no master chef. I ain't no Gordon Ramsay. But if I am mistaken, those are some waffles right there. Those are some waffles right there. Made a little too much uh, mix. So made a little too much mix. Dragon Ball Z bridge. Made a little too much mix. But I think. It should be all right. I'll find another use for this. So, next is, hmm, sausage, sausage. I mean, a couple of these. She likes hers charred, as do I. So, this was meant to be, bro, but I'm gonna wash my hands, don't worry. But, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna let that heat up. I'm gonna get a paper, I'm gonna get another paper towel. You know, I'll be back in a second to make them. One second. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to squeeze this all out so I get as much as I possibly can from it. Yep, I think I got as much as I can from it, so. Unfortunately. I'm trying to scrape as much of it out of the, of the thing as I can. Even though, probably won't get much. Yeah, I'm not getting much. I'm just getting scraps. Oh. Getting a paper towel. Alright. I'm back. Now. I got three sausages. It might get small. There's no might. They're gonna get small. Now, these is the sausages. These two are gonna be hers. This one's gonna be mine. But yeah, uh, this is a mix of meat and pancake waffle mix. So. All right, it might get a little loud. So, been to see. Hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna be back with the finished product for the sausages. So yeah, I'll be back shortly. I think I got it. Okay, but now as I was saying, Gordon Ramsay comes up with the most outlandish insults. He calls he calls niggas donkeys. This is all the eggs I want. Uh, six eggs. I really like eggs. 
He's like, oh, look at you, you fucking donut. What? You fucking donkey. You can't cook. You're bloody, you're not a bloody chef. I ain't gonna say I give up, but some of them, I would have given up. Because one of them, the first challenge, I think always the first challenge is make the signature dish that you make. This one dude, he made it. He made a signature dish. Cool. Only bad thing is they get 45 minutes to make the dish. He's done in like 20. So he's done so quick. He's over there asking other people if they need help. And I'm sitting here like, bro, your food better blow him out the water or his shit's about to be hot dookie. Y'all can guess which one it was. Hot Garbo. He was sitting there wiping his plate for like 15, 20 minutes. I'm like, dude. And was surprised when he got a one. He was surprised when he got a one. Dude, I was like, I, I couldn't feel bad for him. He set himself up for that. He did. And no one can tell me that he didn't. But uh, he's on my eggs. Six up. I need cheese. I need seasoning. There's the salt. Where's the pepper? Where is the bloody pepper? There it is. Found it. I need cheese too. Cheese. nice cheesy eggs I tell you yes sir now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook up my eggs in the same pan I put the sausage in because I like taking risks that might not be a great idea but I'm gonna do it anyway and when it comes to seasoned eggs there's always a certain amount of guesswork there's always a certain amount of guesswork when it comes to making eggs Specifically when it comes to seasoning, because too much of one could fuck it up, fuck up all of it. It's all about finding the sweet spot, the sweet balance, which is hard, which is the only way you can do it. I only is by fucking it up, like I have numerous times. It's bad. It's been bad, like bro. Sometimes, like bro, it's not even funny how bad I fuck up sometimes. A lot, of, but almost all the time, it's really too much salt. So I try to always, any time I put pepper in it, I'm like, ease up on the salt, nigga. But then again, my, but my lady, she don't like eggs. She's not a really a fan of eggs. She'll eat my eggs. She likes the eggs I make because I like making mine nice and fluffy. The goal, it's not necessarily the goal, but the, the, the way I do it, I don't undercook them. I just, I leave them a little runny. I leave them a little runny to really make them, give them that flavor. In a sense, but she ain't want no eggs. She just wanted waffles and sausage, so that's what I make. Her. If she want my eggs, if she wants some eggs, I'll just make her something like that. I just cut off something like that. But I think that's pretty good. That's some nice whisked eggs. I'm gonna add a little more salt and pepper, and then add my cheese and mix it up. And I think I might turn that back. I'm gonna turn that back on. We're gonna get cooking. Well, not get cooking, cause I'm almost finished. It's almost eight. Honestly, not bad time. I've taken longer to do less. Not necessarily proud of that. But I think you get my point. I couldn't open cheese. A lot of cheese. If you want to make cheese eggs, a nice generous amount of cheese. Don't be shy. Don't skimp out on the cheese. Nope. No skimping on cheese. Then you mix it up real nice. Make it look real, real pretty. You can mix it up however much you want, or you can, hell, sometimes make fried egg. I love fried eggs. I like my eggs runny. My cholesterol is probably high, but you can thank my mom. I love my mom, because she always made my eggs runny. I love eggs on burgers. A nice, nice fried egg on a burger, sunny side up. 
when you when the when you crack the yolk, when you bite into the yolk and, and it cracks, and it just oozes out of the burger. My perfect burger. It's a nice thick patty, mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, sometimes a little bit of ketchup and fill it spicy. A nice thick, a nice slice of cheese, a nice crispy piece of lettuce, like three or four pieces of bacon, and fries put inside the burger. Or when I make them at home, when my mom makes them at home, grippos, I put them, put those in the burger. And again, if you're a 502, if you're in a 502, you know, you know about grippos. If you don't know about grippos, bro, I'm sorry for you. I, I, I'm i sorry for you. Cause you're missing out on a slice of heaven, I tell you. But uh, voice crack, eggs is not mixed, been to get cooking. And again, y'all gonna see the finished result. Back in a second. Breakfast was a major success. I didn't even show you eggs. Eggs, fire as always. Four waffles, eggs and a piece of sausage. I like to think that's a beautiful combination. I'm about to fuck this up and go to bed. But first, I must clean up the massacre that is the kitchen. And I gotta wash the dishes. So, I think this is gonna wrap it up for today's vlog. It's been a I guess morning in the life of of me. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. My gaming channel it's gonna be in the description. All my social media is gonna be in the description. My channel, my Twitch, YouTube, my other YouTube, my Twitter. Follow me on all that, all that. Um, make sure y'all like the video if y'all want to see more. The hell, tell me what y'all want to see. So um. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and I'm about to go to bed. And uh, I love y'all for watching this video now. I'll catch y'all in the next one. I'm Maldi. K-Sales out the building.